Intermolecular forces are electrostatic forces that exist between molecules. Electrostatic forces exist between charged particles, and intermolecular forces are forces of electrostatic attraction between opposite charges in molecules. But how is this possible since molecules are neutral? Although a molecule is neutral as a whole, it contains positively charged protons and negatively charged electrons, and these might be unevenly distributed, causing one side of the molecule to be more negative than the other. This polarization is what allows electrostatic forces to be exerted between molecules because closer opposite charges attract one another more strongly than further like charges repel one another. This is what forms the intermolecular bond. The more uneven this distribution of charge in a molecule, the stronger the intermolecular force will be. Some molecules, like water, have a permanently uneven distribution of charge. We call such molecules polar. Other molecules, like nitrogen, do not have this permanent uneven distribution of charge. We call such molecules nonpolar. The intermolecular force between two polar molecules is called a dipole-dipole intermolecular force. A subset of this is the hydrogen bond, which is a particularly strong dipole-dipole force. Hydrogen bonds occur between molecules which have hydrogen bonded covalently to a small, highly electronegative atom, such as oxygen. Since water consists of hydrogen bonded covalently to oxygen, water molecules are held together by hydrogen bonds. A polar molecule can induce a dipole in a nonpolar molecule. The negative end of the polar molecule, for example, repels electrons in the nonpolar molecule to the side further away from it, creating slight positive and negative ends, as shown here. These dipole induced dipole intermolecular forces are weaker than dipole dipole forces, but stronger than momentary dipole forces. Momentary dipole forces are also called London or van der Waals forces. They exist between nonpolar molecules. Due to random motion of the electrons, one of these nonpolar molecules might have a slight dipole at any one moment because more of its electrons happen to be on one side of the molecule than the other. This induces a dipole in an adjacent molecule. London forces are very weak. And before we go, have you already liked? Have you subscribed? Have you left me a comment? And please go and visit my website. You'll find a lot of resources there and they categorize in a way that will make it very easy for you to find what you need. Until we meet again, learn science.